Paul is a 30-year-old man depressed about his recent stroke. He used to be a successful painter, but since he became tetraplegic, he hasn't been able to paint. After staying a long time in hospital, now is the time for Paul to go back home. Supporting the complex transition between hospital and home for disabled people like Paul is the aim of Back Home. It is the first European research project aimed at delivering the ambitious but critical step to bring brain neural computer interface systems to mainstream market. It provides better BNCI-based assistive technologies to improve capabilities by fostering social reintegration, rehabilitation and ongoing communication based on remaining abilities. The main goal of Back Home is to improve Paul's physical autonomy and make him less dependent on medical systems. It also provides clinicians with improved tools to telemonitor and remotely assist users in their daily life activities, their therapy and rehabilitation tasks. Although we use existing BNCIs, what really makes the difference between Back Home and other projects is that this is an easy-to-use system that can be handled by people without technical skills. People with disabilities like Paul, family members, as well as their carers and therapists. During his normal day, Paul performs several activities through the back home system. First, Paul's sister helps him wearing a BCI cap that monitors his cerebral activity. Thanks to it, Paul is able to autonomously accomplish goals that are otherwise impossible without the need of a carer. Back home enables Paul to control elements of his home by himself. He can control the TV and switch the lights on and off. Interacting with the environment, Bad Home adapts his surrounding according to Paul's habits and preferences. Paul also feels more connected to the world because he can surf the internet, check his email and communicate with relatives, colleagues and friends via Facebook and Twitter. Paul can also perform cognitive rehabilitation tasks by playing games recommended by the therapists, according to the level of disability and his needs. When he wants to have a break, Paul likes watching movies. He is able to autonomously start the multimedia player, select a movie from the menu and play it. As a painter, what Paul enjoys most is brain painting. Thanks to this tool, he has recovered his self-confidence and is able to create artwork again. In Back Home, we are developing a telemonitoring and home support system that relies on ambient intelligence which provides cognitive rehabilitation and automatic assessment of quality of life. We have explored the wide variety of possibilities offered by BNCI systems and other assistive technologies to develop a novel system that provides both conventional and novel applications to both users and therapists. The telemonitoring and home support system allows poor therapists to be continuously aware of the performed activities the results and Paul's overall state and his quality of life. Through a web application, the therapist can assign rehabilitation tasks and ask Paul to fill in a quality of life questionnaire. With Back Home, Paul, his family and therapist can control the progress of his therapy and what is more important, how his motivation and quality of life has progressed. Back Home will have a strong impact on the European BNCI research community as it is aimed at delivering the ambitious step to bring BNCI systems from laboratory to home.